Ho, ho, ho! <laughs> it's getting close to Christmas! Can you tell him I'm a little excited? I know, this has just been crazy. It's t- too much. <laughs> too much. <laughs> Let us know, why are you excited about Christmas? <laughs> Is it for all the Christmas presents? Or the potential to have a bit of time off for oh, work yeah. and Probably. relax? Because for me, it's both of them. I'm going to spend so much time on my business over Christmas. Right. But it's all going to be stuff that is internal, working on the business. Yeah, okay. Um, and I'm so going to use Spank Yeah, yeah, It's yeah. going to be massive. Great. Um, I haven't actually done an introduction yet, so hi, I'm Chris, <laughs> and this is Steve. <laughs> hi, everybody. And welcome to another edition of the Sales Mindset TV show. So let's pick up on Spank Up. I yeah. said, I'm going to be using it over Christmas. Yeah. And if you haven't got it, do let us know, and we will send it to you. Yeah. But let's talk about um, checking the suspect meets the target client profile because yeah. last uh, yesterday yeah. we talked about yeah. making sure that you know work on the industry that works best for you mm. is that what you mean by target client profile yeah I, I, I mean I, I do and and I think what's really what's really important here is um, if you if you've done that you're more likely to convert um, quickly from a from a, um, a, a suspect to a prospect um, and you've got more chance of moving things through through your sales funnel, because you know we, we we've done this thing before. But and I know that in a blog that we put out in the week, we reference the famous Zig Ziglar, who 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 probably is um, responsible for more business qu- uh, quotes than, yeah. than than many. But there is a lot of truth in what he says. He's talking about 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 five. Five things you have to overcome to ensure that um, a suspect becomes a prospect. I've, I've simplified that over time, and some of you might be shouting at the screen what the three things are, but, I, but they stand us in good stead. And I'll tell you those if you want them. The, the first one is make sure that within your target sector, people that you're approaching want or need your product. Right. Yep. And and that's so much easier if you're in the right sector. That's likely to be a yes. So there's a real importance there. The second one is make sure that there is a budget available um, for your product, for your services. And again, if you are within a sector that you know well, you'll have some idea as to the cycles or the money or you know, how things are available. And the, And the third one, is that the person you're talking to has the authority to spend that money. And, and again, within your, within your fields of work, you will know, be it uh, you know, selling to a business to business to a bi- another business owner, or be it through some structure in a company, you will know who those decision makers are that have the authority to spend money. Okay, so it, check this, the suspect meets the type client profile, yeah. and that's the type of profile that you need to be meeting using those three that's things. Right. That's right. Can we take it further? Can we mm. analyze the client? Oh, um, yeah. And actually, before we go to the meeting, because mm. that would, if, if we understood the target, uh, the, tar- the target client profile, when we went to the meeting, we'd be able to even kind of yeah, put them into a, into the, yeah. the category of buying, won't we? Uh, 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 you I'm might, not sure how to phrase that. Sorry. No, it's, I'll help. I think <laughs> I, when when I talk about uh, sales funnel, when I talk about Spankop, I do position it as a funnel, but and there is a point of it narrowing, and that's at the analyze and approach phase, almost halfway down in a traditional cycle, and th- and that's almost the last point where. It's acceptable, in my view, to still be losing prospects, because that's the piece where you are into questioning, but bringing value to the conversation. You're already testing, testing that kind of value um, equation. If I give this, will you give this? From a value perspective, not a negotiation perspective, but bringing insight. So that, that phase is a place that you need to, I think, be really clear about before you make an appointment. Because if you are trying to fix an appointment or sending an email that's trying to make an appointment and you are not bringing out value, if you are not showing that you've done your, you know, your analysis and your, in your approach, you will be one of the crowd. If you're showing them that you know what is important to them or their customers or their segment, their industry, 
you've got more chance of making that appointment. Okay. Top tips. Let's well, end this with top tips. Top tips. There's always top tips. But I, but I think go, let's just go back to that point that not everybody, not everybody is going to buy from you. Yep. And being comfortable with that, I think, is a really important mindset step in having an effective sales funnel. And making allowances for that too. Oh, in, indeed. Yeah. Absolutely. Brilliant. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, we are going to be, uh, be here for the rest of the week. And uh, Steve is around. Should you want any questions or answers? Should you want any questions answered? <laughs> Too much eggnog. Um, <laughs> he's going to be around for a bit. And again, Spankop. I keep talking about it, but Spankop is so powerful. So if you haven't got it already, do let us know. And we will send that straight over to you. From me and Steve here, Santa. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. And we look forward to catching you again this week.